Dear Spring 2021 Science Graduating Candidates. It is my pleasure to welcome you through another year post-pandemic, post-presidential election, post-social justice issues, where you have successfully endured all of the challenges to get to the point of graduation. My name is Dr. Charlene Crawley, and I'm the program director of the BS in Interdisciplinary Sciences program. I am pleased to congratulate you for this tremendous achievement and your persistence in completing the requirements for graduation. Unique to VCU, this major has provided you a sound background in the natural sciences, such as chemistry, biology, and physics, as well as allowing you to explore multiple science areas like environmental sciences, the health sciences, and the social sciences. Like the typical VCU student, you can be described as diverse, engaged, open-minded, and ambitious. However, after surviving what I've just described, I would add the terms determined, indomitable, and courageous to your characteristics. Past profiles of the science major have indicated that 85% of you are full-time students, 75% of you work, with 56% working between 11 and 30 hours per week, 25% working full-time, as I did as an undergraduate here at VCU many years ago. 60% of you complete minors, 30% will declare double majors with about 15% of you earning dual degrees. 95% of you plan to continue and further your education within the next two years with about 70% planning to come back to VCU to complete those endeavors. Of the nearly 95% who have indicated your satisfaction with your overall experience at VCU, about half of you indicated being very satisfied. As I describe sort of your academic endeavors, the top reason that science majors have selected this major is that you like taking different science courses and you want a broader as well as a more fundamental knowledge of the sciences. Secondly, you wanna be prepared for graduate level studies by completing some of your graduate level prerequisites within the BS major and not taking extraneous courses that will not apply to your end goals. Thirdly, you want to have a broader and more fundamental knowledge of the sciences that fit within your academic interests, and you want to be more flexible in being able to choose courses that are related to career goals, whether they are in the health sciences, such as in being a pharmacist, a physician, or a nurse, or in some of the applied sciences like atmospheric science or cosmetic sciences. And finally, you want to be more versatile and not one-dimensional as you explore the different parts of science allowing you uh, to complete your education. I wanted to uh, also give a shout out from your dedicated advisor, Ms. Sheila Blair, and she wanted to congratulate you on demonstrating your dedication, commitment, perseverance, and resilience towards achieving these goals between 2020, when the pandemic started, through 2021, post-pandemic one year. And she encourages you to stay safe and celebrate knowing that you, like the 2020 year of students, will go down in history. I also like to give a shout out from Dr. Seth Leibowitz, who is the Executive Director of Health Sciences Programs and Advising. Many of you have met him and actually getting advice about your pre-health sciences endeavors or have actually taken his mentoring course where you have served as mentors for the Cosby Middle School students or even the Richmond Public School High School students who are interested in various careers. I also want to congratulate Dr. Leibowitz in being uh, uh, awarded the Lifetime Achievement Award 
as part of the Pack Me 2021 celebration. This is a presidential award that acknowledges his dedication over a lifetime towards student success, towards leading uh, academic engagement for students and creating community partnerships. And he as well will want to congratulate you. And therefore, I give the final congrats in receiving your uh, degree and knowing that you are the group of diverse and talented students who will be finding the solutions in the future for the challenges that you have had to undergo. Thank you and God bless.